vernacular photography chooses for its subjects whatever happens to be in the slipstream of passing events. Oh, get the camera! It's only when one can see multiple instances of that get the camera inspiration collected together that a style or aesthetic has a chance to emerge. I want to explore about 20 images from a totally anonymous photo album that I bought in a Nova Scotia junk store sometime in the 1970s. And I invite you to consider the notion that its creator was something of a graphic genius. This triptych is marvelous, right down to the slight skewing of the photos, and the lovable Moppet shows up in several other settings. This is clearly a family album, recording a series of events over a number of years, but not really following a single narrative that we can read from the sequence of the images. A new baby joins the menage, and we can perhaps appreciate the complexities of the family dynamic via the body language in this snapshot. Another moment is captured in this cliched situation. Let's put somebody else's clothes on the baby. Ooh, get the camera! The overall composition, shadows and all, is a winner. The family nature of the album is expressed by many of the images, clearly taken on excursions. In this one, we see the lovable Moppet, somewhat older now, and her younger sister. And we can certainly appreciate the doorness of Graham and Gramps without exactly knowing from whence it was sprung. Here's an image from a picnic, the sort of composition one sees in Cartier-Bresson photographs. Graham and Gramps and the two children are there with familiar expressions. Gramps appears in another image, which is full of wonders and mysteries. The setting is a summer cottage by a lake. Who are these people? What are the relationships among them? We can't know. The gentleman in the funereal singlet appears in a few other photos in the album, often in a clowning way. The young lady appears with a husband or boyfriend. Others in the image are less easily identified, and one is magnificently obscure. There's another picnic image that speaks volumes about Nova Scotia and Nova Scotians. Not a hint of a smile. But it's not all dour and humorless. The summer cottage at the lake is a locale of license and delight where one can swim and play at being things one is not. It seems right to end this short exploration with another album page that expresses the marvelous design sense of the unknown compiler, a triptych awash in visual conundrums and worthy of Edward Gorey. Again, we wonder, who were they? <laughs>